All right, guys. Recently, I was asked a question about interviews and sort of when to ask for more money. How do you ask for more money and certain things like that. And there is no rhyme or reason as to really how to do it. The thing to note is everyone has their price. The interviewer and the interviewee both have a number that they want to reach. Typically, as a person who's been on both ends of the fence, getting a job and trying to get someone to get a job, I understand that the person doing the interview is typically not the person with the final number. Someone such as HR or whatever it may be says, hey, do not go over $30 an hour or whatever it may be. This individual over here that's applying for the job who really, really wants the job says, hey, you know what? I really want to do it for $35 an hour. And also these jobs sort of work like the price is right. Everybody's good till you go over. Because this guy over here that's doing the interview really does not want to pay you $35 an hour. And once you say, hey, I want $35 an hour, they're going to say, you know what? Thank you so much. Come back again later. Or this job isn't for you, something like that. I'm sure they're going to be nicer about it than that. In any case, how do you do it? How do you know what the number is? In my opinion, of course, I am absolutely no expert at all. I've only done it a couple of times. In my opinion, it all depends on the job and how much do you want the job. If you're a brand new grad nurse and you've never had any job in your life, and this job that you're being presented with is your dream job, is, is your go-to, is not a stepping stone, I would take whatever they offer right out of the gate because chances are they don't want new grads. And for whatever reason, if you're getting hired as a new grad and this is your dream job, I would take whatever it is that they want. If this job is something that you're doing to sort of use as a stepping stone, something that you're doing to sort of say, hey, you know what, I want to get my foot in the door in nursing, whatever it may be. I'm going to a nursing home. I'm going to a rundown place. Give yourself a number. Say, hey, you know what, this place is dirty. This place smells bad. I'm not doing this for any less than 32 an hour. Let's say you say 32 an hour. They say, hey, we'll give you 26. You say, no, I really need 32 for this job. And if they say, no, you know what, you're out a dirty, smelly facility. You got, you don't sell yourself short on a facility that's a bad facility that you don't really want. And then how do you go into this? Well, I personally, as both positions, the interviewer and the interviewee, go into this the same exact way. I have a number, let's say it's 30 an hour, <clears throat> and I have a number in my head, let's say it's 35 an hour. First thing, I'll go ahead and lay it down. Hey, I can give you 30 an hour, and that's all I can give you may turn people off. If it turns people off, then I don't have to waste my time through the interview process. If it keeps people interested, then hey, you know what? I might get somebody wanting the job. If I come in and say, hey, I have to have 35 an hour. I have to have 32 an hour, whatever it is. And they hem and haw a little bit. Maybe, maybe I'll be getting my foot in the door if they say something like, hey, let's go ahead and do this interview anyways. There's no way we can afford that. You never know. Maybe they can. Maybe they'll counter offer, whatever it may be. If you are a new grad and you expect a certain amount of money, go ahead and try to get it. What's the worst they can say? No. I mean, you know, as long as it's a reasonable amount of money, many people will say, hey, you know what, we just can't do that. Or they'll say, you know what, we'll think about it. It is what it is. Go ahead and go for it. Go ahead and ask for that. Go ahead and do what it is you need to do to get your foot in the door, get on the floor, get to work in. However, like I said, if it is your dream job, if it is the job that you were destined to work, I would go ahead and take whatever it is they offer because they're offering it to you right then. You know what? This offer may not be on the table for a new grad in a little bit later. Let's say you want to go to a burn unit. Burn units typically don't hire new grads. You say, hey, I finally got on a burn unit. I'm going to take whatever it is that they offer me if that is your dream job. Uh, so certain positions, I would go ahead and take whatever it is I want or whatever it is that they're offering. Other positions, I would just say, you know what? I feel like I'm worth more than what you want to pay. I feel like I'm worth that much. They may counter offer you. It may be just as good. It may be a little bit less, but at least you did try. No rhyme or reason to it. Just remember price is right rules. Once you go over, you've busted. You're out. You've lost the showcase showdown. 
whatever it may be. Hope it helps. Thank you much.